Hey, this is David for Big Bits, and in this video, we're going to talk about the indicator templates on TradingView. Now, if you haven't already, go ahead and follow me on TradingView because we do a lot of these types of video ideas, and we also do a lot of custom scripts, and there are tutorial type scripts as well. So, those of you who may be watching this on TradingView who haven't seen me on YouTube, I have a pretty popular YouTube tutorial series on PineScript on how to make your own indicators and strategies. So, if you're following me on TradingView and not on YouTube, please go ahead and check me out on both of them. There's a little bit different resources on each of them, so it'll probably do you good to be on both of them if you're interested in this stuff. But for now, let's go ahead and talk about the indicator templates. Now, what is an indicator template well it's kind of exactly what it sounds like an indicator template takes the basically a, an image of what type of indicators you're using it basically copies exactly the indicators that you have with their particular parameters or their settings with the inputs that they have and it will allow you to apply it to any other chart now there's also a couple of other useful settings that you can use to copy onto another chart but for now i'll just walk you through how to basically use this to copy this set of indicators onto another chart that i would like to use those indicators on so this is my main chart that i use pretty often i like to compare bitcoin and s p versus each other pretty frequently so what i want to do actually is i want to take all of these indicators exactly how they are because these are the ones i like to use the most and i want to actually get them all on this chart but i don't want to have to go and find all of my indicators and add them one by one what i want to do is i want to save an indicator template push a couple of buttons and then we'll do that so I'm going to try a new feature here that is the zoom uh, this is a live zoom so hopefully these things will be a little bit easier to see so I'm going to try that now what we're going to do is at the top of the screen you can go to the templates section it's called indicator templates click on that and what we're going to want to do is save an indicator template be sure that you have selected the correct chart so we are working within the left chart here if you have different indicators on the right chart i believe it'll save the different set of indicators so make sure you've selected the correct chart and go back up to the templates here and let's save an indicator template all right going back down here you can actually see there are a couple of different options here, but first we need to put in a template name. I'm going to call this Big Bits Best Indicators because these are my favorite. And we're going to save that. Well, before I hit save, you can also see where it shows you which indicators it actually saved on here. My favorites uh, include my fancy triple moving averages, my fancy Bollinger Bands, uh, also my smooth RSI and a couple of other kind of built-in indicators such as the stochastic and stochastic RSI. So I'm going to hit save and I need to jump out of zoom. I actually accidentally changed my interval there with the zoom utility. Um, so let's go back up to the templates and you can see it saved my template here. I'll actually favorite this and that way it'll be easy to find when we switch to our other chart. So we have saved our template. Let's go to our other chart where we want to add this on. If you go on and you click on the templates, you won't see it. Uh, that's only if you have both charts pulled up in different tabs. So in my situation here, I'm going to have to actually reload this chart for it to load that indicator template into the options there. So I've now reloaded the chart. You can see there's a nice little circle there and it actually says Big Bits Best Indicators. So I can actually hit that and you can see now it's added all of our indicators that we have added to that uh, indicator template to the chart. So that was a very simple way to add it to the chart. Now I'm going to show you some other things here and it should be something that you can find useful but more importantly it's just good to know that this is an option in case you do want to use it. For me I just like to copy my indicators from chart to chart for you you might need to do some other things so here we are looking at bitcoin and we have our indicators here we're going to make another template but with this template we're going to do things a little bit differently we will name this big it's best bitcoin indicators and we can actually 
have it remember the symbol. So when we add this to a, another chart, it'll actually load in the Bitcoin symbol that we currently have loaded in the chart. And it'll also give you the option to remember the interval. So it's on a one day Bitcoin USD uh, on the Coinbase exchange chart. So let's go ahead and save this. Well, actually, I do want to put in here that it is a one day. So we'll hit save. Check our templates here. You can also see this one here. It shows the circle, but the tooltip above it will show you exactly which template it's for. And as I mentioned earlier, you will probably have to reload your other chart. There we go. Now we can see our other template here, the Big Bits Best Bitcoin One Day Indicators. So I'm actually going to change this to another symbol. Let's change this to Ethereum USD, and let's put this on the one hour resolution. So now when I go to add the template for my Big Bits Best Bitcoin One Day Indicators, What's going to happen is it should remember the symbol and the resolution from where we created the template and it will apply the symbol and the resolution to this chart. So it should take us to the Bitcoin USD Coinbase chart for one day resolution. So let's see how that works. We clicked on it. Let's unzoom here. We are now on a Bitcoin USD. Oh, it was actually Bitstamp. My apologies. I said Coinbase. It was Bitstamp uh, one day chart. So there you go. That's all you have to do to create an indicator template and copy it over. And you also kind of get an idea now of how to actually go about saving some of the other settings, such as the interval and the symbol as well. So there is a little bit more information about this. They actually have a help section on it. If you're interested in learning a little bit more about this, you can always check out this URL. Uh, part of their help section you should probably just be able to search for indicator templates and it should be able to bring you up here and it kind of shows you what i've shown you as well already so if you haven't already please check out the trading view profile you can see we've got quite a few followers and likes now we've got several ideas a lot of scripts we're doing streams now occasionally and there's just a lot of great resources here for you. Uh, I definitely recommend you follow the account here and also check out the resources on YouTube. If you're not already watching this on YouTube and subscribe there as well. Uh, also, if you're watching this on YouTube, because I am copying this video on YouTube as well as TradingView, please go ahead and like the video. And while you're watching this on YouTube, if you haven't already liked the video or subscribed, I should say, please go ahead and subscribe as well. That'll help out a whole lot on that side but other than that i think that's going to be it for this video i appreciate everyone for watching and have a great day